Why get, over, get over here. No, I can't. Oh, I'm out of rescue. No, wait, I gotta rescue stuff. I gotta rescue stuff. <laughs> I gotta rescue stuff. Oh fuck! No, I'm not. I'm, I'm out of range. It's okay though. It's okay. It's okay. I can. I can fucking do this. Rescue. Where's the rescue stuff? I have a rescue stuff. Yes, I got a rescue stuff. Whoo! 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 Okay, it's fine. We're fine. We're fine. Why do you do this to yourself? Because I'm bored. And when I'm <laughs> bored, I do stupid shit. It's because I'm bored. Yeah, but seriously, this is the curse of Fire Emblem. This is the real Some curse of the. Oh fuck! No! Okay, it's just a sword. It's just a sword. Oh. You're, yeah, you're better off just killing that one and then just having. Yep. Well, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Some people, when they're bored, they eat. I act stupid in fire. <laughs> 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 yeah, but it's like, I don't know. You get bored and oh, nice poison strike. What does this guy drop? A javelin. Wow, this map really fucking throws equipment at you. Holy shit. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely, Ow. take for you. Mm. Oh, that was mm. hurtful. Very hurtful. All right, we'll go and uh, deal with these guys then. Let's go and heal up. No. Do you have a dual shuriken on you? Yeah, uh, it's Kasa okay. doesn't have the weapon rank to use it yet, sadly. He needs to level up. I think maybe he just got a level up. I'm gonna have to check. Swink. Bloop. <laughs> Wow, she doesn't get any experience anymore. You're a bad apple. You're a bad apple. Uh, yeah, he just got C rank, so now he actually can use the dual shuriken. Thank God. That's good. All right, let's go and heal up Kaza. Let's continue to actually let's not break down this ice right now. Anyway, Corin, we have uh, some dudes. Just burn two rusty staves on chapter ten. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, fucking noob. <laughs> When you play Rev when you play Conquest Lunatic, do not do that. <laughs> no, no, I won't. I don't. I think you only get a single. Uh, I think you only get a single rescue staff in, in Conquest, though. A single one. You get one, and um, you get a visitor bonus one. Yeah, so you get two. But I only used. I only. They want like they advise you to save rescue staffs for Takumi's last stand. Yeah, definitely. But I only used one. I only used one charge. Oh yeah, yeah. You so. can you you can clear that chopper in one turn if you have a rescue stuff. Kind of cool. Uh, yeah, depends on what your units are like, but yeah, you can cheese it mega hard. Oh yeah. <laughs> hmm. All right. Oh, that chapter is fucking brutal, though. I love I love talking this final stun. I'm not sure if that's the name of it, but it's not. It's called it's some stupid shit cheesy garbage. But what is it called? Light breaks through. Oh yeah, but yeah, it's it's a really good final chapter. It has pretty much everything it needs to. Oh, nice one. Cool. Energy drop. There we Energy go. Energy drop. Yeah. So awesome. I was like totally wrong about going down. <laughs> you you were. That's fine though. No, you got a. Didn't you get a goddess icon or whatever? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, Seraphrobe. See, I wasn't that wrong. Is no, that's that fine. It's a healthy mix. Wow, Ooh. this chapter. Holy shit. Oh, no. I mean, I could have completed it like 15 minutes ago. There we go, Seraphrobe. Yeah. Woo. But I'll still, I'll still, I still feel like comfortable splitting my army into half, though. As long as you don't go alone, you should be fine. And there's some more dudes. Don't walk the streets of Izumo alone. <laughs> no, that's bad. The hey. gods might smite you. Eleven sir, you're dead. You are le dead. Elixir. Wow, this this map. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. It's just a mess, what man. What the fuck? I would like the items you get. Holy shit, revelations. What were you think? Oh, crap. I thought I skipped something. I did kind of skip something, I guess. All right. Don't worry, though. We're breaking. Like, perfectionists must have it the worst here. Because, like, I literally, like, I'm not a perfectionist. Yet, I, this, this patch of ice here bothers me. It, <laughs> it, it, it physically makes me ill. Someone with ODC is like, I can't handle this <laughs> It makes me puke. Uh, all right. Let's, uh, this is not ice to clear, right? Ah, fuck! Are you no, no, no? I, I'm not that bad. I'm not that bad, guys. Seriously, are you, I'm. I'm are you I, sure? I, I'm not sure. It's just, <laughs> it's just protruding out there like a fucking big old zit. Oh, uh, I just gotta be popped, you know. Just gotta be popped. <laughs> Once you pop, you can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, wow. I think this is the least amount of fun I've ever had playing Fire Emblem. <laughs> oh, what a fucking awful gimmick! <laughs> And You're they fucking him, lure you, me, they lure you in it. with stat boosters of all things. <laughs> what a mean it's concept. It's like an abusive boyfriend. I want to leave, but I just can't. I it's gotta keep coming back. That is a very good analogy. <laughs> Revelations is like a fucking abusive boyfriend. You want to leave it, but you can't. Because he gives you things. He showers you with gifts. He gives you all these promises. Sometimes they're bruises. You know? But you've kind of learned to like the bruises too. Because at least when you get the bruisers, he, at least he, he confirms that he cares about you. You know, even though it's tough love. You know? Oh. Well, we're soon done. We're soon done. I'm not, I'm not, I'm gonna fight against my inner perfectionist. I'm not gonna clear the eyes on the walls. I promise, guys, I won't go that far. So yeah, guys, how was your day? Uh, it was okay. I was, I kept, I kept designing my chapter nine and I hit a stride and I think I might have just cracked the code. Oh, nice. And it was fucking incredible. And my, one of my guys who's doing some custom hacking for me is working on the strength magic split for FE7 and it's coming along. And things are going good. My art team is like coming together. Really nice. Things are positive in the old bloodlines shit. So, uh, how many years do you think it takes before the next patch comes out? <laughs> In less than a month or two. Seriously? Ass. Seriously? That's what I didn't. I I already told you, I told you this yesterday. No, but I want to. I want to hear it on air so we can hold it against you. <laughs> oh. Uh, you heard it here first, some, guys. Sometime early August for a public beta. Hmm. All right. All right. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, take it. I I, I just did. It's like you take it. With I the took snow. your word for it. You take it. You take the snow and you like it. No, I really don't, guests. I actually fucking hate the snow. This is fucking terrible. This is fucking god awful. This is, it just this... brings me back every time. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say no, but it's just so tempting. String skill, speed luck. All Curiosity right. killed the Norwegian. <laughs> Be also to kill the Norwegian. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, oh, look, oh, what? Of course, <laughs> of course, of course. You'd think like that. You think like these Norians would be like, oh man, thanks a lot. Nor <laughs> Zola's such a fucking dick. <laughs> he didn't even tell us about this plan. He was just like, just stay here in case the enemy comes. And we're like, okay, but who's the enemy? Oh, it's just like the Norian royal, <laughs> like the guy you're a sub you're like subjected to. And we didn't have a say in this. And nope. then he fucking freezes us. <laughs> nope. Oh crap, Mjolnir. Oh what? Okay, we need the garden again out of here. So if he crits, you're you're dead. If he crits, we're dead. Okay, so uh, we gotta um, we gotta try to one shot him. You have a fuck. Well, you can just you can just run away. You don't need to kill him. Run away? Oh no, you can't. Never mind. <laughs> you told me you on. Uh, uh, I'd, li I'd like uh, some of that weed you're smoking. Let's see, Barb sure can. We can hope we get. Why don't, a... you, why don't you just pair up with someone, and so you don't have to deal. We don't have to worry. You don't have to worry about it. Well, he can still fucking murder Kaza. No, he doesn't. Kaza's resistance is probably all star. All right. He's a ninja. Okay. Ah! 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 Oh uh. my god! <laughs> oh my god, guys! I swear to fucking god, I would have destroyed my 3ds. I literally would have thrown it against the wall. I'm not even fucking joking. I, I almost did that earlier today. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I almost did it. I was so pissed in this game. Ugh. <laughs> it's actually but used I the Yato for once. We never used the fucking Yato. Yato! I love how at some point during my conquest, let's play, you just started calling Corin Yato. <laughs> bring Yato over here. Ah, nice. Draco shield. Oh, I got fucking damage. We're almost done. Okay, so this sadly we need we need to hmm. let's see Garden Aganata. Okay, this works. Oops, that'll do it. That'll do. Remember that Don't time? Don't you fucking where crit we... me. Never mind. One shot. Remember that time where uh, we thought that the Dark Mage was a girl? <laughs> right. 
Right. <laughs> I, uh, I I was looking back at our clips and I, I remember that part and it was so funny because we were both like so like perturbed by it being a girl and then, we were, and then we were just like never mind moving on moving on all right let's debuff him a little bit there we go come on solo hey <laughs> you can't possibly defeat me I think we possibly can so now we've reduced his skill down by five points. Boom. So he should be pretty easy to take down now. Boom. Have fun with that. And we'll use the dual sh no wait, the dual shuriken you don't want to use. You want to use the bar shuriken. shuriken. There we go. Alright, this is good. Uh yep. Uh, he does not have no. or anything like that, so that's good. Crit Jacob. Oh. Mm. One more. Mm. Ow. Time to take out oh. the trash. Time to take out the trash. No. <laughs> There we go. Ah, I can't believe it. Was your weakness an, an illusion? No, he's just called having good stats, so... Also, we plowed through your eyes for like an hour, getting stat boosters. Oh. Yeah, we got a good pump on plowing snow. Yep. Master C. We got oh. swole. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Oh, never mind. Fucking hell. Okay. Oh and, my uh, god. 28 Fuck. Turns. 28 turns of the agony. The winter ends. We won. You can't escape now, Sola. Tell us where the Ark Duke is. Ha! Huh, you really think it'd be that easy? What an evil little girl you are. I always have an escape plan. What are you... What? What? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, get this. An unarmed, already defeated magic user has held another magic user with tanky res captive and you have a sword to his throat. Moving on. <laughs> oh, look at me and my adorable hostage! Ranga! Sakura! Let her go, Sola. Are you really trying to stoop this low? Do the honorable thing. Pert to your honor. I'd rather win than be honorable. After all, the winner is the one who writes the history book. So, I'm just gonna do my Mang's prediction now. A guy is gonna appear out of nowhere and he's gonna kill Sola. Now, put guess down who, your guess weapons. Which one, guess which one? Leo. Guess which, guess, Le Leo. Guess, yep. Now, I put mean, down your weapons. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, you don't, the girl. No spoiling. Yeah. I knew it. Gah! It can't be. That magic. Yup. <laughs> I like this is so fucking obvious. Uh, he does do the, the, this in both of the other routes though, so yeah. You were yeah. the lowest of the low, Sola. Hiding behind hostages. You disgraced the entire Norian army. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it was you, Leo. Thank you for saving Sakura. Leo, will you join us? We could use your aid in the battle ahead. I don't plan to fight with Nor. I've learned of a dire truth. What are you talking about? After refusing to side with Hoshiro or Nor, I learned that King Garon, he's being manipulated by someone. What? How do you know this? Listen carefully. He didn't want to start this war with Hoshiro. He's being controlled by a real enemy, someone hiding behind the scenes. Okay, so she can be vague. This invisible foe is who we should really be after. I see. Write it on a piece of paper, Manga. Yeah, I see. Well done. Tell me who is pulling the strings. Name the manipulator. I'm sorry, Leo. I can't say who it is. Unsurprising. I don't know why I wasted time listening to your ramblings. Leo, please wait. I can't say anything now, but... You're a traitor. I don't want to hear your excuses. What? You still don't believe that I have the best intentions? Let me make this as clear as I can. You have abandoned your family, and I have extended you the same courtesy. I no longer think of you as my sister. Got it? I only came here to clean up that vile mage. You and I will settle our differences some other time. Remember how he was acting cool? And ah! He dick. <laughs> he just fucking made a tree be appear behind me. Manga! Don't worry, Ashra. I'm fine. I don't think he was aiming at me. The door to that banquet hall has been seen better days, though. Go on, Manga. The real Arc Archduke should be inside. Along with that pathetic Hoshidian prince, Takumi. What? Do you mean... <gasps> Wait! Leo! Leo! Manga! The banquet hall is filled with people. They've all been tied up. You can't be serious. Oh, oh, we're well. serious. We're all we're very serious. You're here! You're here! You finally come to rescue me! Thank you so much, you really saved my life. I'm absolutely starving! My tummy has been rumbling for hours now! Are you truly the Archduke of Izumo? Why yes, that's me! Archduke Isana, first heir to the Divine Bloodline! Descend- Sorry, Archduke, but we've kind of already heard this. 
Even the hair part? Yes. Ah, He's even more informal than the imposter. Ah, the fair princess Sakura. I believe your brother is around here somewhere. He was left in a situation similar to my own. I can only imagine how hungry he is now. Takumi's really here? Oh, hello. <laughs> Gas, you know what time it is! Do you want me to do it? Yes! I Talk ain't gonna do it. Really? No? I'll do it. Okay, good. Talk to me. I'm so <laughs> glad you're safe. Sakura? <laughs> <laughs> and Manga and the Shira. What are you all doing here? <laughs> well, I decided that I would fight alongside Manga. What? Sakura? <laughs> you turned against Hoshijo as well? <laughs> Oh, Ryoma is going to be devastated. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I've been waiting so long for this. No, I haven't. <laughs> Neither has Manga. No one here has, actually. None of us plan to fight against Hoshino. Manga says there is something much worse than Norse aggression going on. She can't explain, but I trust her. Takumi, please, I trust her too. <sighs> Takumi. Humph. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me if I don't find this flimsy explanation acceptable. <laughs> Sakura may believe in your story. I don't. I see. No, 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 no. Ah, this won't do. This won't do at all. You've got it all wrong, Prince Takumi. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm not going to go into all the little details, but basically, join Manga. That's why the gods are telling me. Just got some prophetic stuff from them. Huh? Something... prophetic? <laughs> I can't believe that important prophecies just happen out of a sudden like that. <laughs> hey, who's the keeper of prophecies here? You or me? They come as they come. Would you really ignore directions sent down from the gods? You know, you say that, but... <laughs> How can I choose to side with someone who won't side with their homeland? Of course, I'm grateful they saved us, but I just can't trust Manga. <laughs> Jeez, you're one tough nut to crack. What am I supposed to do with you? I don't like breaking out the big bows, but uh, if a little extra prophesizing is needed, well, Prince Takumi, that's just what you'll get. Another Isana prophecy scene. Pew, 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 pew. Ahem! Everything is not yet seen. The truth is hidden... The truth is far and hidden low. The one upon the water's surface, he who knows all is the true foe. Phew, there you go. The gods really want to speak to you, Prince Takumi. Princess Maga is not your enemy. Then who is? <laughs> what was Sakura saying a moment ago? <laughs> that Manga knows something about this uh, our supposed enemy? <laughs> yes, I can't explain it all now. But what Ark Duke Isana says is true. We come to Isama, hoping to find a way to defeat our mystery enemy. Oh, that's right! You were going to ask me about the Seal of Flames. I'm sorry, but I don't know a thing about it. How could you possibly know what we were going to ask about? Premonitions! Prophecies! Haven't you been paying attention? Even though I can't help you with the Seal of Flames, my family does have a saying that's been passed down for generations. We will show she who turns the light and dark another way. So there you have it. Don't uh, you get it, Mangs? I, I, I have stopped asking questions at this point. <laughs> what does that mean? Is Manga the one who shuns the light and dark? I think so. Thus, I only need to show you a new path. If you'll excuse me, I'll go hold a little ceremony to ask an ancient god for help. Uh, right now? Yes, fortune favors the bold. Strike when the iron's hot. Car, carp, whatever. Carpe whatever. Carpe whatever. <laughs> I want to get this little ceremony over with in any case. Ancient gods aren't exactly easy on the ice. We don't have time to wait. We need to rush through this chapter, okay? We need to get everyone already. There's uh, no time. Right, right. That's, that's true. I hope he returns with some sort of helpful clue to all this. I'm sure things will work out. Let's have faith and wait here for him. Uh. <laughs> Ghasts, the sprighting is so fucking bad. You haven't seen it yet. Give it like three minutes. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Arctuch, what's wrong? You look exhausted. I had a chat with an ancient god, but I don't even understand it. It's so short, too. Go meet the dragon. The dragon? I'm sure you'll figure it out eventually. I really, ho really hope you do too. After all, I think I may. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, I definitely gave my life for the mess. <laughs> Sayonara. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Toodaloo! <laughs> Carpe whatever. What? Did he just uh, fucking die? No, he's dying. What? 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 Yeah, You're he, dying? He, How did this happen? Well, the ceremony I preferred always requires something in return. Every message has a price, and the cost of this one was my life. I'd really like if, if a bard wrote a nice song about my noble sacrifice. Oh, Prince Takumi, I know I should have asked before, but make sure you help out manga, okay? Guest? Oh, sorry. Uh. But I. <laughs> what? You're still not willing? I'm dying here, and you're still unsure? Listen, if you don't, I'll come back as a ghost and haunt you all the time. Boo. <laughs> Ark Duke. <laughs> well, I said that what I needed to say. Bye bye. And he's done. <laughs> GG is it. <laughs> what the fuck? That's not how you kill someone. What the fuck? Oh my god, Fates really do not know how to write that scenes. It's fucking disgusting. It I is, mean, this granted, is, yeah? granted, in my opinion, based on what I've played, I feel like Izana's death is like the most tolerable one in terms of writing because... Well, you'll see, and I'll, t I'll explain to you why, but I think All it's right. probably one of the better ones for this one reason. Yeah, but I mean, it's, I, not a, it's not a good reason, it's just a yeah. reason. <laughs> why didn't you tell us this would cost him his life? Why? Sniffle, sniffle, oh, Izana. Giving up his life for the good of everyone, he was an admirable man. I'm so sorry, this is all my fault. If I hadn't picked this path, the Archduke would have, wouldn't have died like this. I didn't realize the cost of my goal, as right as I believe it to be. You must keep believing in it. Don't waste his sacrifice! <laughs> Talk to me. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to help you accomplish your mission. I'll fight with you. After all, it was the Archduke's dying wish. <laughs> so I'm coming along, sister. Thank you, Takumi. I won't let you down. Stop laughing at my voice, <laughs> asshole! Well, if Lord Takumi's going, I guess we'll have to go to- Ishana just died and all you can do is <laughs> laugh at me! Oh, hello, flaming hot waifu. She died in my birthright run. They got really pissed. Oberos like a really big favorite. Yep, I'd sooner die than be separated. Hmm? What? Is she still a favorite in the- yeah, she's, she's like, she almost got like a thousand votes. People fucking love her. <laughs> yep, I'd sooner die than be separated from Lord Takumi. And you are? The name's Hinata. I'm one of Lord Takumi's retainers. I'm skilled with the katana, if I do say so myself. You'll like having me in a fight. My name is Obro, and I like dying to uh, Ragnarok tomes. <laughs> if at all possible, I'd rather not interact with Ragnarok tomes. <laughs> but if we are to be allies, then I will be do my best not to get killed by Ragnarok tomes. For Lord Takumi's sake. Alright, well glad to have you with us. That's three more valuable allies. Thank you, Arctuki Sana. This is all thanks to you. I promise to never forget the sacrifice you have made for us. Uh, I will, though, probably, in one chapter. <laughs> <laughs> this chapter sucked. The story sucked at the end. I have nothing more to say about it. You have yeah. anything to say, guest? Yeah, actually. Um, yeah, let's hear it. So I'm done. So. In my podcast, I mentioned towards the end that I actually liked Izana's death, but yeah. not for like it being good, but the fact that they didn't overplay it or down or like that is dwell very, on it for that very long. true, very true. That I can have definitely appreciate. No like yeah. forced thirty minute Lilith fucking bullshit. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. I mean, it was kind of heavy handed, but it wasn't that heavy handed. So I mean, that's what it's got going for it, and that's why I liked it. But like, what I don't really understand that much is like. Like, I understand the idea of, like, giving something in order to, like, like, asking the gods for something in order for them to, like, it, and, like, the, the exchange is, like, a sacrifice of your own. But I just can't help but think, like, what would a god that's immortal and ancient even want with Izana? Like, Izana, of all people. <laughs> like, like, what's, like, what's the exchange right here? I don't Nothing, I just... because this plot is just written for convenience and nothing else. Yeah. And I don't understand, like... What's actually, like, why does Izana have to die? I thought Revelations was about getting all the units, but Izana gets killed off. Yeah, it seems a little bit weird, doesn't it? it it's like it's just I like the whole you you have to give something in return of getting it. It's just like what would even what would a god even want with humans anyway? <laughs> I think you're 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 asking two big questions for the writing of this plot. You are you are literally asking more about the writing here than than the writers themselves. Um, I mean, like. <sighs> 
I actually kind of like. Well, I actually, I take that back. I actually hate he's on his character, but <laughs> I like. I think he's entertaining, and I like his design, and I like him as a unit. But I hate the fact that he's a leader of a country because, you know, there's no way he should be a leader of a country. It doesn't make any sense. But, um, anyway, I think what made the death scene so incredibly weird, like you, you can't hear the sound, but you played it. The music do not change when Isana dies. The music is cheery when Isana dies. It is like at least have the decency to play some sad music. I mean, maybe that's maybe that's the idea. Like, maybe he's so happy go lucky he dies happy or something. I don't fucking know. I don't know. Anyway. I like to think, like, I like to like let my imagine play out, and I like to actually like give Izana a backstory of his own on why he's so cheery and stuff. That's called fantasy booking. Yeah. That's what I did with Izana. Yeah. I mean, that's it was nice. actually It was actually kind of fun because you get fucking nothing about him. And I checked his supports with Korin and they were like, just, they just did not, in, like... They talk about partying. That's it. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that is nothing about it whatsoever. Yeah. What's it Isana's called? Fantasy booking? Fantasy booking is something you do. It's a wrestling term. Um, essentially, when, like, it's something that wrestling fans does. When they think that, you know, wrestling suck, they fantasy book. They go, like, oh, what if the, that guy could fight that guy? That'd be awesome, you know? And they start to fantasize. And that's the, it's a term used in, like, story writing. When you play a game, you go, like, oh, I wish this character would do this and that. And wouldn't it be awesome if he did that? And that you're fantasy booking, essentially. You're, like, sitting there, like, creating stories. Because you're so unhappy with the current story, you'd wish it was different. <laughs> And then in your mind, you create the perfect little story, and you go like, yeah. man, the game would have been so much better if they had done this. That is fancy. Book. Yeah. What I would really like... Oh, I just... What? <laughs> but what I would really like about Izana yeah. is, like, this might be a little bit of a tangent, but, like, or sort of off topic, but if, like, they had more time for him to make supports, and it was about him on why he's so happy, Yeah. and I was thinking, like, Maybe Izana's so happy it's because he knows the cost of these like rituals or like parts of his life. So he's so happy because he'll never know if one of the summons or one of the like ancient prophecies things that he does will take his life. So he tries to live life to the fullest. Yeah. But they never really explain why that is. So that's just. And, that, and, and just a little bit of a hint like that would have made his character like a hundred times better. I yeah. also hate the fact that he just shows up when you build hot springs in Birthright and Conquests. Like, couldn't they just have worked him into the plots somehow? But again, yeah. just, this this just really speaks to me. Like, I think the reason why Fates feel so rushed in certain areas is because I literally think they ran out of budget space. Because they, they wanted to make three games. I think they made Conquest Firsts. I think they designed Conquest Firsts. And they used a majority of their resources on Conquest. Because Conquest feels like, uh, unless you count the story, the most fleshed out of the three. Uh, yeah, at least so far. Does. Um, does for me, it does too. And, it, and it, that, it, is why, that is why Yukimura... Uh, Isana, all those core and sexual characters, they don't have supports because they simply ran out of budget and they didn't have time to, to design them because they probably spent so much resources on the children, the children's supports, the fucking skinship, mm -hmm. like so much. Like people say that, oh, all this waifu crap, it doesn't affect my gameplay. You know what? It actually does because imagine how many fucking hours of work have gone into creating those little waifu scenes where they blush and you have to stroke their face and shit. Imagine how many work hours have gone into fleshing out that system. And yeah. as a result, we see that some of the characters don't have any supports at all because they didn't have the research to develop it. So that when people say that waifus and shit ruin Fire Emblem, this is what they mean. Yeah. This is, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I actually want to touch up on eventually was being like, the cost of trying to become like this sort of half video game, half like dating sim, dating sim <laughs> is like you're splitting your 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 assets in order to like tr like move onto this area of Fire Emblem. That's like like you could just cut it out and like nothing of value would be that lost. Like in my opinion, like I would rather cut off this private quarters thing and yeah. this like, right here the, this right this here private... this takes a lot of resources right here yeah this takes yeah. a lot of resources this is a lot of design time that has gone into staring at asher's tits while she talks just yeah. just gonna say that that takes a lot of resources and did it really make the game better did yeah. like that little interaction right there did it really like, make the game better yeah and at the end of the day and at the end of the day conquest is like the biggest invested 
like game of the three. But it makes me think like if Birthright and Revelations are like two thirds of the game, so the more the majority of of, con of of Fates is Birthright and Conquest. Sorry, Birthright and Revelations. Yeah. Like if it's that quality gameplay that we're supposed to expect now at the expense of like 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 dating sim shit at the expense of like potential conquest tier gameplay, it's really red flaggish for like the future of this franchise. But I don't want to sound too negative because people don't like that, but that's yeah. just what I'm saying. I'm wary, I'm wary when this when this kind of shit goes on, like the rushed shit that doesn't really emphasize gameplay that much and tries to do these cheap gimmicks to try to like pretend to be creative. Yeah, when it's and, really just really shitty and, and like and, and not one, really And one of the counter arguments that will show up in the comment section like now, I'm just going to crush it immediately. People, I know that there is someone who's going to type this. Oh, Mangs, the art team and the design team and writing team are, are different groups of people. And the fact that the art team designs that doesn't mean it takes resources away from, from the other team. That's, a, that's an argument I see used a lot. And... It's bullshit, and if you think that's the case, then you don't know how video game developing works. Each department has a set amount of resources, like, um, de uh, dedicated to it. And you always have a budget, you always have to contain yourself to a budget. And it is up to the developers of a game to decide how much they want to focus on each uh, aspect of the game. They have an art team, they have a writing team, they have a design team, they have a programming team. And they decide how much resources they want to spend among those different teams. And in, in Fates, it is very obvious that they've spent a lot of money on support dialogue writing, a lot of money on the private quarters, like on skin ships and children, and they've probably spent a fair amount of resources on map design as well. The story writing department is the part, like, they haven't focused on that at all. They had, they hired someone and... I, from what I understand, looking at the story, it is so rushed. It wasn't even quality checked. Yeah. It, it wasn't was, it even was quality rushed. checked. They probably had, like, one or two guys write the script with zero quality control. They just rushed through it and said, you know what? The story of a Fire Emblem game isn't that important. As long as we have waifus, as long as we have yeah. all that other shit. And a lot of people are going to get pissed by that, but I legitimately believe that is the case. Yeah. So, yeah. There was a guy... There was. I'm actually just going to leave it off here. Uh, yep. Um, there was a guy in my comment section who said, like, I'm so tired of story bashing on Fates. Like, just be grateful that you have a game to play. Shut up. I'm so and tired was... of people complaining about me complaining. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I feel like since you exchanged cash for this game, that's arguably like of like a like a like this game is like arguably overpriced because it's just recycled and very poor quality, in my opinion. Like not like there are thirty dollar games that are just infinitely better than Revelations. Absolutely. Um, and so, it's like yeah, I mean you can say that they're not entitled, but they technically are because they exchanged, they exchanged cash to be entitled to talk about the game. So absolutely. Like, so like they have full rights to complain, and they have, I mean fuck that's, like if they got it for free, then maybe you can make the case for that. But like, like I I cashed out. Like I'm Canadian. So it like it was like forty three dollars because the exchange rate in the Canadian dollar is like made of poop. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll, I'll just I, yeah. Sorry, keep going. No, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Um, I, I, I would just like on. to I would just like to 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 finish off with this sentence because I know it's gonna happen. To everyone who say, I am so tired of you guys bashing on conquests. What is what is or or <laughs> revelations or fates? What is there to be tired of? close the motherfucking video and go and play the game. I've never understood this fucking people who get so triggered by criticism. Like, it's affecting them somehow. Like, it's destroying their day. Like, oh, Gast, you know, I was just enjoying my Fire Emblem game and then I went to the Facebook page and you know what I saw, Gast? I saw someone who didn't like the game and it made me sad and now I don't... Like, seriously, what is up with you people? Criticism is good. Like, if you don't like criticism, just don't read it. It's just like people saying, if you don't like, if you don't like Fates, Manx, stop criticizing it. No, you stop reading my criticism. Close the fucking video. All right. If you're so fucking tired of the criticism, just close the video. I don't get your logic. <laughs> you're stupid. <laughs> Manx, you gotta chill. You gotta, I gotta, chill. I gotta chill. But yeah, that, you gotta that, chill. You that gotta chill like me. the eternal winner. You gotta chill that, like this chapter. No, fuck this chapter. <laughs> anyway, 
please give a dislike and a comment. Uh, <laughs> Don't and ask him to give a dislike. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> I've done it before. All right, well, uh, thanks for listening to uh, our 20 minutes of gameplay and uh, 60 minutes of ranting. Uh, really Hit happy. A, uh, leave a like to pay your respects to Izana. Yes, yes, or else you you are officially happy that he, he didn't died. deserve this. He didn't deserve it. And remember, guys, whenever when it, it, we didn't choose this path, Isana did. That, that, goodbye.